Bagua Zhang, or Eight Trigrams Palm, is attributed to its founder, Dong Hai Chuan, who lived in the late Qing Dynasty. From him, the art branched off into various sub-lineages. Characteristically, it features circle walking with continuous movement and techniques executed while stepping. It features refined body mechanics and practical technique changes. In this primer video, I shall cover foundational basic skills that one should develop prior to moving on to circle walking and palm methods. I shall cover their fundamental details and methods as I was taught within my line of Liang style Ba Gua Zhang. In general, the basic methods and practices I shall present here are beneficial to practitioners of all styles of Ba Gua Zhang. Ba Zi Bu, or Character 8 Stance, is a basic static stance training method which helps one develop certain physical requirements of Ba Gua Zhang's posture and footwork. It involves standing upright with a weight evenly distributed on both legs, the knees slightly bent and the toes drawn inwards, forming the shape of the Chinese character for the number 8. Standing upright with the feet at shoulder width apart, place your hands on your hips and press the crown of your head up. While keeping your toes on the floor, turn your heels out so your feet form the Ba Zi position and slightly bend your knees. Your feet should be pointing inward slightly, with the soles flat on the floor and your weight evenly distributed on both feet. In essence, here both of your feet are performing a Ko Bu, or toe-in hook step, in a static manner. The two knees should have a slight inward closing and pressing force, and ensure you continue to press the crown of the head up. When sinking and bending the knees, ensure that you tuck the buttocks in and do not perform either a posterior or anterior pelvic tilt. Maintain a natural upper body configuration with the shoulders settled and do not expand the chest. When settling and sinking the weight and by pressing in and closing the knees, you will naturally feel the lower waist engage. The waist and hips will feel as though they are stretching and expanding. Ensure all five toes stay in contact with the ground and do not roll the soles of the feet outwards. Over time, the degree to which your toes will be able to turn inwards will increase. Through regularly practicing and holding this posture, you will begin to develop both the flexibility and the strength required for Ba Gua Zhang's signature Ko Bu and Bai Bu, or toe in and toe out hooking steps. Once your Ba Zi Bu posture is developed, you may proceed on to Ko Bu and Bai Bu stepping practices. Focused toe in and toe out hooking step practice features the execution of consecutive Baibu and Kobu steps which turns the body 180 degrees to either side. It is said in classical descriptions that the circle that one walks is formed by executing Baibu and Kobu steps. As these steps are the foundation of Ba Gua Zhang's footwork as well as its technique and palm changes, it is important that they are developed adequately. While there are variations to these steps with regards to their orientation and range, here I will present one method of practicing this which develops its key core principles. Standing in the Ba Zi Bu stance, shift your weight to your right foot as you perform a Bai Bu with the left foot by raising it and turning it toe out just under 180 degrees and plant it back down approximately in the same place with the knee naturally bent. Next, your weight shifts to the left leg as the right foot steps through with a Ko Bu, turning it toe in 180 degrees to the opposite direction as you turn your waist and face the opposite way. The right foot settles at shoulder width. You finish in the Ba Zi Bu stance with the knees bent and the toes turned inwards once again. Next, repeat these steps one by one with each foot as you advance in either direction depending on your available space. It is imperative that the Bai Bu and Ko Bu are initiated by the rotation of the hip joint and the turning of the waist. 
do not simply focus on turning the foot out or in, but rather this occurs as a result of the rotation and twisting of the hip joint and the turning of the waist. In doing so, your steps will not only have greater connection with the body as a whole, but will also be more stable, rooted and forceful. The movement of the feet must be coordinated with the waist, and it is the waist and the legs that determine the size and direction of turning. You may adjust the stepping sequence you employ in order to suit your available space. This may be practiced even within a small area. Through the regular practice of the stepping method, you will develop the mobility and ability required for later Bagua Zhang study, practice and application. Chuan Zhang, or piercing palm, is a core technique contained within all styles of Bagua Zhang. It is said that Dong Hai Chuan had all his students initially practice Chuan Zhang for three years as part of their basic foundation. In Bagua Zhang's 36 classic verses, it states, Even skilled martial artists fear triple piercing palms. And this highlights its effectiveness. Within Liang style Bagua Zhang, Chuan Zhang is a key technique. There are numerous variations of Chuan Zhang, yet they all share the same core principles. Here, I shall present one main method of Chuan Zhang practice in a progressive manner. The palm shape utilized in Chuan Zhang is the Niu Shi Zhang, or Ox Tongue Palm. This is formed by holding together the four fingers excluding the thumb. The thumb is tucked in across the palm to the root of the ring and little fingers. The other four fingers excluding the thumb are held together tightly and the tips are slightly curled inwards with force. The tucking in of the thumb and the slight curling in of the other four fingers should reinforce and tighten the structure of the hand, with the focus of force being on the tips of the fingers. The four fingers and the back of the hand should be aligned with the forearm. Ensure you do not break this alignment by bending the wrist either vertically or horizontally. It is also important that you do not overtly straighten the four fingers and lose the slight inward curling. As Chuan Zhang or piercing palm features a direct strike following a straight line attacking with the fingertips, the Niu Shi Zhang palm shape aims to reinforce the hand's structure enabling one to strike with the fingertips more effectively. Upper body focused practice is performed with a fixed stance. Stand upright with the feet parallel and at shoulder width apart. With both hands forming Niu Shi Zhang, extend the left hand out ahead and place the right hand slightly below and just to the inside of the left elbow. The tip of the left hand's index finger is held between nose and eyebrow height. Next, from below the left elbow, pierce out with the right hand following tightly along the bottom of the left forearm and strike out ahead with the fingertips to approximately eye height. Repeat this action alternating between the left and the right. It is imperative that you mobilize the shoulders when executing each piercing strike, with one shoulder pushing forward while the other pulls back. This is achieved by mobilizing the lower torso. The waist must turn, which then pushes the shoulder, which then drives the elbow, which in turn makes the palm shoot out. As the one palm pierces out ahead, the other palm is drawn back by the same twisting of the waist, which naturally draws the relevant shoulder back. Do not merely rely on the power of the arms themselves. The two palms continually interchange positions sharply yet fluently. Urge the striking arm shoulder out ahead as it is the shoulder that determines the striking reach you will achieve. With each strike, focus your force on the tips of your fingers and ensure you strike on your center line. The force issued should at the same time be elastic as well as sharp and focused. As is stated within Bagua Zhang's 36 classic verses, when doing a piercing palm, straighten the palm and slide it alongside the elbow. The rear shoulder takes on the role of the lead shoulder. Ensure you maintain the correct posture and press the crown of the head up. 
Continue to practice this on the spot until you achieve a degree of competence with it. In future Baguazhang primer videos, I will introduce stepping methods which are to be combined with Chuanzhang as well as other foundational basic skills. While deeper details regarding these foundational basic skill practices, their variations and applications should be attained through direct transmission by learning from an authentic teacher, I have presented here fundamental practices within my Liang style Baguazhang line. The details covered in this primer video will enable you to begin or correct your practice.